Hey everybody, Brock Freddy here helping you enjoy your ride. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium. Cool car, little turbocharged engine. I love the way this thing looks in the front. It looks a little bit mean, a little bit aggressive. And you know what? It actually drives that way too. It, it'll punch you back when you punch it. So this is gonna be a fun car to review. 2017 Ford Fusion Titanium front wheel drive, five passenger, two liter EcoBoost engine, six speed automatic transmission. The exterior is white platinum metallic tri coat, and the interior is medium soft ceramic. I would like to extend a huge thank you to Green Ford in Greensboro, North Carolina for the opportunity to film this amazing vehicle. I'll be sure to leave all of their contact information, including their website for their new vehicle inventory and used vehicle inventory in the description box below. Here is your smart key and you can see that you've got unlock on the top, lock in the middle, remote start, trunk release, panic alarm. And you can see I just activated the panic alarm. I just hit that to activate and hit that same button again to deactivate. I can press unlock and it'll unlock the driver's door. Press unlock twice, it unlocks all four doors. And you can see with each time I press the unlock button, that LED light there lights up. See that? And it happens in the back as well. Then you've got lock that locks all the doors. Hit it. And then you've got remote start. So what you'll do is just make sure that the doors are locked and then you'll hit that button twice to remote start. As long as you have the smart key on your person, you can place it in your pocket. It can be in a purse also. It just has to be within pr uh, close proximity to the vehicle. You can approach the car and just touch the door handle and it will automatically unlock for you. Then when you're finished using the vehicle, you can just touch where those lines are on the top of the door handle and the doors lock. There's a little bitty icon right there and it looks like an unlock. And that's in the event that the battery in the key fob dies. That's telling you that you pop off this panel and there is a little part down there. You can see that? And that's where you're gonna place the physical key. You can see there's another little icon right there and it's showing you it looks like a key. So you put the key head in that and you pop off the cover and then there's gonna be a keyhole under there that you can get into. Let's take a look under the hood. The engine size is a 2.5 liter inline four cylinder dual overhead cam. It produces 175 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 175 foot pound of torque at 4,500 RPM. It has variable valve timing and 16 valves. EcoBoost equipped engines are designed to deliver horsepower and torque consistent with those of larger displacement, naturally aspirated engines, which Ford claims can achieve about 30% better fuel efficiency and 15% fewer greenhouse emissions. On the outside, we have configurable daytime running lights, and that means you can just customize them. Driver side view mirror with automatic dimming, dual exhaust system with bright tips, and it, you can see the shiny material, the metallic finish along those dual tailpipes there. Uh, fall LED fog lights, LED headlights with signature lighting. And I love how those headlights look. They're a little bit aggressive. They're kind of small, but they produce a huge light, which I really like that. Then your mirrors on the outside are manual folding, dual power heated with memory. So you can memorize the position for them. And you have uh, signals integrated into your mirrors on the outside. You also have a rear spoiler and then your tail lights are LED as well. You have multi-directional keypads on either side, left or right, of the steering wheel. Those are going to correspond with what controls the screens on the left and the right of the display. So over on the left side you have fuel economy and mileage information and on the right side you have information that's more of an electronic nature like radio and Bluetooth and everything. Now I can hit OK and then I'm going to see various settings. Display mode, trip 1 and 2, fuel economy, driver assist, settings, and so I can press that display, that 
keypad to the right and now I can go up and down check out the tachometer there pretty cool tire pressure digital speed distance to empty back to the tachometer then you see your little legend right there you see the little directional keypad that corresponds with the actual keypad on the steering wheel where it's lit up in white means that I can execute that right now so it's up left and down notice that the one pointing to the right is actually in gray so I can't do that right now okay I can press down now I'm gonna go out of this screen I'm gonna go down to trip one and two I can control those different settings for trip one and two in case I'm tri keeping track of those trip one trip two and then I can press OK to reset press and hold and it resets all that information go out of that into fuel economy and now I can just keep moving around driver assist traction control and park aid now this is going to be more specific for the settings of the vehicle you see where it says remote start this allows me to control the behavior of the remote start when I'm using it so I can have it control the climate system automatically or go to the last setting where I had it last when I cut the vehicle off. I can even make it control the seats, whether they're cooled or heated on or off duration. That is just so cool. For the windows, remote open, I can actually open and close them with my key fob remotely. Behavior of the wipers, let's cut on the courtesy wipe. I like it. And so this is where you can just go and really customize a lot of the functional features of the vehicle. Now to the right side, using the same type of multi-directional keypad, I, and, and the same thing applies with that little legend right there, left and right, up and down. And so I can back out of that, and now this is the main screen. So I want to change any settings with navigation. How cool is that? Phone, no phone connected entertainment and now there's your there's your Sirius and so now I'm just going through the Sirius presets right there really need to have the outside temperature plus the compass and the time I didn't know really how to feel about this shifter here until I started playing with it and I think I could actually get used to it pretty quickly it's it's a neat system and you can feel that there's like a, a catch in it and it's not going to turn until you put your foot on the brake my foot's off the brake right now but it's just like anything else uh, you know it just takes a little bit of getting used to you put your foot on the brake and you turn it and it goes into reverse everything just like you think it should works i mean you know you see you see your backup camera come up and you see the gauge right here it says you're in reverse so you're good to go and then you can go to neutral and then to drive and then right here is uh, S for sport and at that point you can use your paddle shifters right here you can downshift on the left you can upshift on the right and then whenever you come to a stop let's say we've been driving and we did come to a stop all you do is roll it and it puts it in park and what's weird about it is that it's actually much easier to use than doing a um, like a, a, a shifter, like a gated shifter, what that you know where you squeeze and you move forward, or you grab something and you pull down or up, or the column shifter, you know the old school. This is actually so much easier than any of those. And uh, what's what's funny about it is when you first hop in, you're like, oh, I don't know if I like that, but how can you not like something that's actually easier to use it's less cumbersome parking brake right here and the way you engage and disengage that is you pull it up to engage it I just pulled it up and then brake came up on the dash right there and then when it when you push it down you'll see brake goes off so that's your parking brake you notice that you do not have a brake right there in the vehicle to push down. You've got a USB port right there along with your standard uh, lighter adapter port. You've got some storage pockets right all down in there. Then you've got your cup holders with the 
beautiful red light. You can actually customize that. A little bit of extra storage right there. Front seats are really, really comfortable. Look how big the bolstering is right there. It is just, it's, it's really exquisite. You wouldn't, I don't know why, but I wouldn't, I, I, I'm really kind of surprised by how nice these seats are. I love how the panels are all put together there and it's multiple panels it's just not one flat seating surface and the benefit of having multiple panels there uh, it actually helps kind of relieve pressure points when you're riding and that is especially good on long trips you've got your latch child safety seat system there and you can feel I can I'm touching right now a, a, like a steel hook almost and that's where you would hook into a with a child safety seat there's, tab, there's a tab here on the back of the seat, and that's what you use to fold the seat down to give you much more storage. And rear air vents, and you also have a lighter adapter down there. Take a look at the finishes right here on the door. You've got like a brushed, but it's all, it looks kind of like a brushed and a polished aluminum trim there. And then coming down here, you've got the nice door panels and it's all actually soft. That's kind of a hard plastic there, but this feels like leather. Power window switch here, just a little pass through door handle. A little bit of storage here in these door pockets. Really comfortable seating back here. The seats um, feel fantastic. Uh, the, the way the texture is, of the uh, of the leather and then you've got your stitching there with all of your panels and that just really really adds to the comfort level of the back seat the interior that this one has is called ceramic and you see I love the perforations there in the seat and the stitching there it just looks like the the seat of a luxury car your memory seat system right here so you can get your seat set the way you want it and and then you can press that and set and it'll memorize it. And then you can lock or unlock and lock. Right now we're looking at our controls for the lights. And those light controls are gonna be starting here. That's off, parking lights, lights on manually, and then using the auto feature for the lights. Over here on the right side is your gauge brightness and there's fog lights right there. And you can see right here, this is kind of neat. It's not really something you really often think about, but there's little bitty dimples in the corners of these buttons right there. Can you see those? And that makes it so that you can um, use your touch to determine where these buttons are. It's pretty cool. So if you're feeling over here in the dark or you don't want to take your eyes off the road, you can just feel right there and that way you know there's the fog lights. Then here's your trunk release. And over here on the left side are your signals. So you can press it up once and it'll just do a three blink lane change indicator. Or you can press it all the way up and engage it and it'll stay there blinking. Really nice. Uh, wipers here on the right side and you can pull them down once and it will just wipe. And you have those wipers that go up and down from the outside and fold in on each other. And then this is gonna control the intermittent wiper speed, and you can pull it toward you, and that's gonna wipe them off, or wash them off. There are several buttons right here along the top, and the, there's a light right there, and a light on the end. And this allows you to cut the lights off for when the door is open, and that cuts on all the lights inside, and in the interior lights. And then these are your sunroof controls. So you can just press that and you don't have to hold it. It's actually one touch and that opens your sunroof. I love how that's uh, one touch. And then you have your sunglass holder there. Here's your glove box. And you've got a couple of different little shelves there. Nice storage. And then you've got this really cool center stack right here with the Sync 3 system, navigation, touch screen, Sony sound system. And the way to think of this center portion here 
is of course you've got your vents at the top your touch screen down from that and then all right here you've got climate 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 radio it's really easy it's like the climate settings are all around the outside and then you've only got a couple of radio settings with your CD player right there so on the left side auto makes it work just like the central AC in your house when you press auto it's going to automatically keep the temperature at whatever temperature you have set in the system you can override auto by pressing any of these see that I manually adjusted the fan speed max it right there is the max defrost you can hear it go to defrost now my goodness that is max um, there's your front defrost rear defrost air conditioned seats heated seats these are also three level by the way both uh, pa uh, driver and passenger and then dual zone climate control here fan speed adjustment there and then right here on the right side you have AC, max AC, and that will blow you out of the house. I actually really like that. Uh, recirculate, and then power, that cuts the whole system off. And right now I've got on, you can see I've got my air conditioned seat on level three, the highest setting, and it's actually cold. It feels fantastic. And so this screen is beautiful. It's easy to read. Everything's nice and big. The display is clean. There's no second guessing on what any of the icons mean. You don't need to know hieroglyphics or you don't need a college degree. It's nice. It's wonderful. I'm going to hit my home screen. And this is the main home screen. This is what I go to uh, most of the time. I would recommend just using this, this screen kind of all the time. You've got navigation, audio, Bluetooth. Then you've got a quick access menu here. And these are all different settings that you can change. Whenever you touch one of these, it's going to expand the screen into that whole thing. So I can press this and it's going to make the map or the whole screen the map. Then to go back to that screen I was in before, I simply press the home icon. Then there's all radio. Back to home. It's so easy. Audio settings. So I have, uh, this is obviously satellite radio, Sirius satellite radio. And you see presets. And then the one on the top is highlighted. There's three little blocks right there. But the one on the top is red. The two on the bottom are, are black. But when I press presets, it goes, now the middle one is red. And you saw a new page of presets pop up right here. Hit it again. And there are six along the bottom six times three pages is 18 different presets I can press sources and this allows me to choose a different source FM and that same uh, principle applies with presets in FM as it did with satellite so you can preset as ba basically as many stations as you want okay uh, direct tune this is so cool watch this I'm gonna hit direct tune and now I can input the station that I want to listen to. Let's say I wanted to listen to 98.7. Watch this. 9, 8, 7, enter, boom. It tuned to 98.7. How fantastic is that? Also, what this means is that it's HD radio. That means there's more than one 98.7 in the area. HD radio allows you to take full advantage of the FM bandwidth. So I, and, and you see it says 1, 2. Right now, we're listening to the number one 98.7. All I need to do is press HD radio. It's going to go to the other 98.7. And um, the benefit of this is, number one, a clearer radio broadcast. It sounds better, but it just allows you to listen to more music. Um, it, it's kind of like um, digital cable. You know, you've got a digital cable channel 102.6, then you've got 102.7, that type of stuff. That's what kind of HD radio is. Anyways, I've got climate, phone, nothing is set up right now, navigation. I can go destination, and this allows me to search for a destination according to these selections. Check this out. I can go food. And look, it just brought up all the restaurants near the vehicle 
in order of distance. It tells me the general direction, how far the distance, the estimated time to the destination, and then I can just, I can see um, the type, and, oops, I can see the type, the name, and the address. I can hit save, it'll store it for me, I can hit more information, and just this is so awesome now this is actually a review and I'm sorry I can't pull that sticker off but this is a review of the uh, of the restaurant itself it tells me how, when they're open their hours by city seeker and it tells me also that it's handicapped accessible it gives you a star rating and and you see how easy all this is it's it's unbelievably easy and now we're gonna to go to settings. You can see right here, I press the settings icon, and this is so cool. You can actually swipe the screen, and you can move it around like that. Isn't that great? I can go sound, and this is how I simply change my sound settings in the vehicle. So I can manage my treble, mid-range bass, speed compensated volume. That will adjust the volume according to vehicle speed, to account for ambient road noise. And you see a little eye right here, isn't that great? I can press that and it'll actually give me a one line, two line brief description of what that function is. It's so easy. It's extremely clean and no nonsense. I love this system. I can go clock. Bluetooth, phone, radio. general and you can see how responsive the system is there's there's virtually zero lag when I touch something it just happens and then I can swipe Android auto preferences I can enable Android to make it um, link with your Android device ambient lighting I really like this look at that right now we're on red I can go green and, and check it out right here. So right now it's on green. There's blue, purple, ice blue, orange, soft blue, red. I'm going to stay with green. I like green. It's easy to do. It's uncomplicated. And it lets you customize your car. Just, just awesome. Valet mode. This will uh, lock the system using a four digit pin and the same pin must be entered again. So if you wanna protect what's in your screen, you can, you can continue with that. You can set a pin and it makes it so that nothing can be accessed on that screen unless they have the pin number. Pretty neat. Voice control. And Again, I, I know I'm, I'm going on and on about how neat this is, but I really just love this system. It's so wonderfully easy. Enhanced park aid, rear camera display, great stuff. And speaking of rear camera display, I'm gonna put it in reverse and you can see our backup camera there. And you can see a little display of the car right there. And I can change what the camera looks like. I can press the plus and that zooms down so that I can see a more uh, zoomed in look of that specific part of the bumper right there. And then those grid lines are uh, dynamic. And what that means is that they will move. You see that? And now what's the benefit of that? Well, I'm glad you asked. Check this out. I don't have my seatbelt on and that's what happens when it, you drive without your seatbelt it chimes like that check out reverse right here and you can actually see the white lines right there and I want to back into that space so what my objective is is and you can see how the red green and yellow are fixed they don't move and how the white lines do move they're dynamic what that's telling you is that if you keep the steering wheel at that angle that that's where the car is going to end up and I don't want to end up there I want to end up in the space so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the the colored lines the 
red, blue, I mean uh, red, yellow, green, and I'm going to put them inside those white lines on the lot just like that. You see that? And then once they're lined up, the white is going to line up with the colored ones. And then I'm going to put about right there. The reason I put it right there, you see that red where the red ends? You want to make it so that the white line touches the tip of that red. And that will allow you, let's say if someone were parked right there, then that would allow me to be away from them in the event that I needed to access the trunk. I still have room to access the trunk. So that's how you use your dynamic grid lines. If you actually use this properly and practice a little bit, uh, you can actually back this thing more straight uh, or you can actually park this car more straight backwards than you can forward. It's absolutely fantastic. Also have a little rubber pad, a little rubber button here, and it's just barely to the right. I'm touching it right now to the Ford emblem. You see that? As long as you have your key fob on you, you can press it in and that will allow you to get into the trunk. You've got a 60-40 split fold down rear seat. There are your speakers right there. And this is a really nice trunk. It's kind of like got this felt carpeting along, and this is for sound dampening. So it makes the ride quieter, especially at highway speeds. And you've got your trunk mat down here. When you pull that up, it reveals your spare tire. And that is a definitely a donut, so you don't want to go too far or too fast using that. Pretty neat here, you can see these pieces here those are for sound dampening you can see there's they're put all around the area here makes it quieter all right everybody that just about wraps it up for the 2017 ford fusion titanium what a neat car do me a favor tell me what you think about the fusion titanium in the comments section below. Again, if you would love to have content like this delivered to you hot off the press as soon as I make it, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to make fresh things for you like that. And also, if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a big thumbs up, share it, and all those other good things that I'm supposed to tell you to do. Thank you so much for watching again, everybody. Have a wonderful day. And I hope this helps you enjoy your ride.